Hello, my name is Jan Eppelboyn. I'm a interventional radiologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital, and I specialize in performing minimally invasive procedures for the treatment of pain. I'll be discussing a emerging procedure called genicular artery embolization as a treatment for knee pain from osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is a very common disease and a common cause of disability and pain. It's also very common in the United States relative to many other countries. Currently, when patients are diagnosed with osteoarthritis and have knee pain, there are a spectrum of treatments that they may consider. Typically, they'll try oral medications to help with pain, physical therapy, weight loss management. And if those treatments aren't working, they can progress to slightly more invasive treatments such as steroid injections into the knee joint or other kinds of injections. And for those that have severe knee pain, patients will undergo knee replacement or knee arthroplasty, which has excellent long-term data to support its safety and efficacy. However, many patients find themselves somewhere in the middle where they've tried varying treatments and continue to have significant knee pain but are also interested in, if possible, avoiding or holding off on a knee replacement surgery. For those patients, they're considering other minimally invasive procedures, and I'll highlight one of them, which is called genicular artery embolization. What this procedure is, is a minimally invasive endovascular procedure. We insert a tiny hollow tube into the blood vessels of the knee, and then we use imaging to selectively target areas that appear abnormal and contributing to inflammation and pain. This procedure is thought to work by reducing the chronic inflammation in the knee that's associated with angiogenesis or an overgrowth of blood vessels. The reason why this may be a problem, as well as a pain generator, is that this abnormal overgrowth of blood vessels is also associated with something called synovitis. Now, synovitis, or the synovium, is the lining of the knee joint. And when that lining of the knee joint becomes inflamed, it's called a synovitis. And we try to arrest the synovitis because synovitis is a main contributor to pain. And we also understand that moderate severe synovitis is associated with chronic pain. What we found in the literature regarding this embolization therapy is that it can durably reduce synovitis while not harming other structures in the knee. This is one of the earlier studies uh, which evaluated the embolization therapy and found that patients had a significant reduction in the inflammation of the lining of the knee joint. This has been supported by more recent data, both when looking at patients three months after the procedure as compared to before the procedure, as well as one year after the procedure compared to their baseline pre-procedure MRI. And what these studies are showing is that the embolization procedure by pruning this abnormal area of overgrowth of blood vessels is durably reducing the inflammation of the lining of the knee joint. When considering whether this therapy might be right for you, there are a number of indications as well as contraindications that are worthwhile to think about. Patients that have moderate to severe knee pain that have a diagnosis of osteoarthritis and have tried various other treatments but continue to suffer from moderate to severe knee pain are considered for genicular artery embolization. However, if you have a local infection or significant kidney disease or significant disease in the arteries of your leg, then this may not be the right procedure for you. How the embolization is performed is highlighted here. We perform this in an outpatient setting. So patients will come in, they'll lay down on a procedure table, 
they'll receive sedation through the IV, and the procedure will take a couple of hours. And in those couple of hours, what we do is we use x-ray and we inject contrast dye so that we can identify where there are abnormal areas of perfusion in the knee. We then treat those areas very selectively while preserving the normal blood flow in the knee joint. After the procedure is done, patients will recover in our recovery room for several hours, and then we'll be able to go home the same day. This slide highlights what we look at and what we see during our procedure. So in image A, there's an x-ray of um, a joint with osteoarthritis. In image B is an MRI image of that same person with osteoarthritis. And those arrows are pointing to the area of synovitis or abnormally increased inflammation. In image C, the arrow is pointing to what we see in the angiogram, in the procedure that we perform. When we inject contrast dye, we're looking for abnormal areas of blush, of abnormal areas of inflammation that are corresponding to that finding on the other imaging. And what we strive to do is to prune down this overgrowth of blood vessels that have developed in an inflamed knee joint so that we see what we see on image D, a more cleaned up area anatomically that doesn't have this abnormal blush of the synovium. So in effect, we're trying to reduce the perfusion or the blood flow to this abnormally inflamed area. Like any procedure, there are risks and benefits and alternatives to consider. And while the risks of genicular artery embolization are low and has an excellent safety record, there are risks. One of the most common adverse effects of the procedure is a temporary discoloration of the skin. As you can see here in this image, there is a, a lacy reddish rash uh, that's involved in the skin, and it will typically go away after a week or two after the procedure. What we do during the procedure to try to minimize the risk of this is by applying ice packs to the skin. So in summary, genicular artery embolization is an emerging and highly targeted treatment for patients with osteoarthritis-related knee pain. It can be considered in patients that have tried other therapies and are unfortunately continuing to suffer with significant pain despite those prior treatments. And what we understand from the literature is that it can durably reduce the abnormal inflammation of one of the pain generators in the knee, the synopium. Thank you very much.